What's up guys, we're back with a new video. It's day number 30 in the coronavirus quarantine, and so we're making our second video. And we thought today we would tell you the story of how we got our FJ40 um, and uh, a little bit about it when we went to pick it up. Um, I've always been into cars. When I was growing up, uh, my dad took me to car shows and we were always tinkering on cars around the house. And so I loved cars. So basically I grew up around cars and always loved tinkering on them. When I was in high school, um, I worked at a gas station pumping gas and uh, got to learn to work on cars when I wasn't pumping gas or putting air in tires or checking oil. Um, and so back when Judson was about uh, three years old, I had a um, 1970 C10 Chevrolet pickup truck that I took and it was a long wheelbase, uh, and I converted it to a short wheelbase. It originally had a straight six in it, and I put a small block V8, and uh, it was three on the tree, changed it to a 700R4 automatic transmission, and that was my toy for a while. I tinkered on it for a while. And as the kids got older, um, we couldn't all fit in the truck and I wanted to get something that uh, we could all go for a ride in. And uh, I got into Toyotas. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a, a 2002 Sequoia uh, Toyota that I love. Uh, super reliable, been a great car. And uh, then I thought, well, one of those old Land Cruisers would be cool. And uh, I like the FJ40 style because you could take the top off. and. Uh, be like a Jeep basically. I never really was a big Jeep fan, but I do like uh, the FJ40s and, and like I said, being able to take the top off is pretty cool. And so about two years ago, I uh, sold my uh, C10, took that money and set it aside and was going to use that for the project uh, that we had coming next. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I uh, started looking on Craigslist and it seems like I couldn't really find um, one that I could afford. Uh, there, first of all, there weren't a lot of them out there. Um, and as I began to do some research, I knew I wanted to get one that was probably a 75 or newer. Uh, Cause before that they had the three speed transmission. They had the smaller one uh, F motor. Uh, they had drum brakes on the front. And so I, kind of narrowed it down. I wanted to find one that was 75, 76 or newer um, so I could get those upgrades um, and I started looking and it seemed like there were kind of two kinds out there on the internet. There was either the first kind uh, that was what I would call a total rust bucket. <laughs> Needed to be totally redone, probably didn't, didn't run, had rust all in the tub. Uh, if you know anything about FJ40s, they rust the both back quarter panels and the back, really the back half of the tub is notorious for rusting because of the way they designed them and it throws the mud up back in there and it gets stuck and and so it seems like most of them were really rusty and they wanted, you know, four or five thousand dollars for them uh, in bad shape, not running, full of rust, or the other side of the spectrum was you could find one that was totally redone and they wanted $25,000, dollars for it. And my budget was more around $4,000, $5,000 and so I was hoping to find something that we could tinker on and was drivable and then we could replace some of the rust if we needed to. Alright, so I looked on Craigslist and I hate mud uh, and they there wasn't much for sale so uh, that I could afford. So I put a wanted ad out there and I basically said I'm a teacher, I've got a son, we want to do a father-son project. Does anybody have uh, an FJ40, hopefully 75 or newer, uh, that's some kind of uh, 
project uh, doesn't have to be you know perfect uh, put kind of the price range that I was hoping to buy it for I even put a little note in there said if you're willing to give it away I'll come get it uh, immediately so I had tons of people that emailed me it was really a surprise to see how many people emailed me several people emailed me and just encouraged me and said hey that's great um, good luck then I had a lot of people email me with some leads they say hey there's a guy over here that's got one here's his number here's his email I saw one advertised here and I got a lot of emails and and suggestions of places I'd already seen them um, but I also got several people who were looking uh, to get rid of theirs and just hadn't taken the time yet to put it on Craigslist or put it on a classified or put it on um, I hate mud and so um, I took about a couple months and just talked to those people and I looked at a couple and I ended up finding one in Ringgold, Georgia. Um, and it was a gentleman who had bought it. Um, he had paid, I think, $3,500 for it and it was running and driving. Um, it was a 1977 US spec uh, FJ40, uh, pretty much original. Uh, not much had been done on it. I mean, it had some maintenance done, uh, brakes and and uh, general stuff had been replaced, but original carburetor, original uh, brakes and axles, and you know, 90% of it was was still original. Uh, but it was pretty rusted, pretty bad, especially the back half of the tub, as usual. At first, I wasn't that interested in it because it was completely taken apart. He had driven it for a couple months and then he decided he wanted to blow it apart and totally restore it um, and uh, so I was like that's going to be too big of a project I don't want something that's going to be sitting in our garage for three or four years before we can drive it um, but the more I looked what was out there the more I talked to this guy um, he seemed like a really nice guy he was very honest about it um, and it was in my price range so he was asking $4,700 for it so we set up a time to go up there, uh, drive up there from Atlanta. It's about two and a half, three hours, I think, is what we drove. Um, set up a time to go look at it. And uh, so we drove, we rented a trailer, hooked it up to the Sequoia. And with um, another good friend of mine who has a son who's also restoring a 1981 FJ40, uh, uh, we drove up there to Ringgold to take a look at it. So when we got there, uh, to the guy's house. He had a two-car garage in his backyard and sure enough it was taken completely apart. It was all pretty much down to the frame. He had pulled the motor out, he'd take the axles off the frame, body was one side of the room. Uh, he actually had bought a tub from another guy in Alabama who supposedly was totally redone and had the quarter panels replaced and no rust. When we got home we found out that it, it did have a little rust and had some bondo, so we are redoing. A lot the, of bondo. We're, we're we're redoing the tub right now. We'll we'll get to that in another video. Um, but uh, it looked like a pretty good deal. Everything was there, and so what we decided to do was I negotiated it down a little bit. Offered him forty five hundred, um, and he took it. And so me and uh, my friend and his son and Judson spent about two hours. And first thing we did was we pulled everything out into the in the front yard just to kind of see what we had. He had another project in, in his shop. It was an old Jeep uh, pickup truck. Um, and that one was pretty much done, but he did have a lot of random parts. And so we wanted to make sure we got everything that belonged to the 40 out. So we went through his garage. Bagged and tagged him. Bagged and tagged stuff. He had bagged and tagged some stuff. And, and he actually wasn't even there. He's a truck driver. He was in California, but I was talking to him on the phone. His son, who was in his 20s, came and was very helpful, helped us go through. And we called him a couple times on the phone and he said, this part is here and this part is there. And first thing I checked was, I uh, looked at the title, I uh, looked at the VIN number on the title. Second thing I looked at was the, the uh, VIN plate, make sure the VIN matched. And then I looked at the frame on the FJ40s up on the front of the frame, uh, there's the stamped um, VIN number. So I made sure those three things matched. I didn't want to buy some kind of parts vehicle that had been, you know, pieced together and everything matched. Um, like I said, we pulled everything out into the yard, um, kind of went through piece by piece. My buddy who's restoring his 81 FJ40 knows a good bit about them. So he looked around and we, we looked and we determined that pretty much everything was there. 
Um, and so we took about two hours and we, first thing we did was we put the axles back on. They were kind of halfway taken off and motor was back in the frame. We just put some bolts in there to hold stuff down. And then we rolled it up onto the trailer. And then on the trailer in the front yard, we put it back together. Uh, not 100%, but we put the tub on it, put some bolts in the tub to hold it down, threw the seats in it. Um, we uh, put the top on, which the top, as you see from the pictures, was not completely taken apart. But we put the top on, bolted it down, put the doors in. Tell them what we used for the hinge pins. Uh, we couldn't find the hinge pins, so we got some screwdrivers and just put them on. They didn't work very well, but... We found a nail we and, and a screwdriver, yeah, and we just put those on enough to where the doors would close. Uh, we didn't put the latches back on, but then we ratchet tied everything down. Uh, the front fenders were pretty badly rusted. We kind of threw them underneath the, the truck, underneath the F4, FJ40. Um, we had some other random parts. He had an extra windshield that he had bought, uh, that rust-free windshield. There's a little bit of rust on the windshield. A little bit of rust on the bottom of the doors and a tiny bit of rust uh, on the bottom of the top side. So um, it was, I'd say, a 95% rust-free vehicle. So we put all the extra parts. He had an original spare tire on the original rim. He had a set of original hubcaps. Um, he had a new exhaust manifold. I'm not sure why he had it. I think he had another FJ project at one point. So he had a new exhaust uh, manifold gasket. Um, so just a couple newer parts to go with it, not a ton of stuff, but we found the jack, we found the jack handle, we found um, the original flat tire kit. The original flat tire kit, we found all kinds of stuff. And the manual. Uh, yeah, he had the manual for it. It's an airplane going over. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe and turn your post notifications on. Also, make sure to hit that like button if you liked our video and comment down below.